In 110, Larry comes back uh, to town. It's the first time that we meet Peyton's father. And Peyton, who has been a bit angsty and a bit severe, is really, it's wonderful to watch how infectious she is around her father. She's very bright and bubbly, um, clearly smitten by her dad and, and, and in love with her father. And um, the reason we took the scene out of the episode was because later on he gives her a gift and then after that he gives her another gift and I just felt like I didn't want the audience to think that he was buying her affections but uh, this one probably resonated better the other stayed in uh, I think simply for continuity I'm so full I ate too much <laughs> hate that I mention I brought you a gift daddy you don't have to get me gifts <sighs> but since you did anyway give it up yeah yeah nice wrap job I know <laughs> <laughs> just open it Kandinsky, this is so cool. You said you liked his stuff. Totally. You know, he said that when he saw color, he could hear music. Thanks, Dad. Now, how about you give me a gift and you tell me how you've been? You seem good, but then you always do. I am good. Grandma drops by every once in a while and brings food. Um, she's chill. But I asked about you, kiddo. I'm fine, Dad. Okay. How about this Lucas character? It's complicated. More so than with Nathan? What's that look? I like Lucas, but it's not like that. Uh, his loss. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, honey. I hate to leave you alone for weeks at a time. Dad. It's okay. I know. I'm just glad you're home now. Another pancake, yes? Yes. This additional scene was uh, Keith and Lucas. Uh, Karen had gone off the floor, and so Keith was counsel to Lucas. And uh, they were talking about the relationship that Lucas was having with Brooke. Um, there's a really funny little moment in it where uh, Keith pulls a beer out of the refrigerator and he's cooking at the stove and he throws a little beer into the pot of soup or whatever it is he's cooking, which was a Craig Sheffer choice that I thought was pretty funny. Um, we eventually omitted the scene because we felt like we had enough exposition about the relationship, um, which is something that I tend to like a little less exposition, which is funny if you watch the show because a lot of times it's two people talking about how they're feeling. but. Um, it's sort of a staple of the genre. I'd do less if I could, and I think in subsequent seasons we'll try to let the pictures and, and, and the actors' emotions take over a little more. So this was just, uh, I thought we had enough exposition and we pulled the scene out of the episode. Actually gonna join me for dinner? Yeah. Let me guess. Problems with you and Paris Hilton. Nice. And no, we're great. I'm great. All right, if that's your story. You've been around mom too long. You wanna talk about it or not? You know, Brooke and I, we have fun, you know? And she makes me laugh and she's kind of careless, which sometimes feels good, but I just, I'm not sure it's enough. Well, you'll know when it's not. Anyway, um, I'm gonna email mom tonight. Is there anything you want me to pass on? Oh, yeah, just tell her what a great job I'm doing. Oh, and don't mention the tattoo. Right, yeah.